fun, but finicky. Hello friends, today I'm going to be talking about the A-10 Warthog, or I should say Lightning II, more affectionately known as Warthog. Uh, I built the Academy 172 scale kit, and this isn't a bad kit. Um, there is some pretty good detail, but the quality of the mold leaves much to be desired. There were lots of minor mold lines, and a few major ones. Uh, the tires, for example, were pretty darn bad. There's lots of really noticeable pinholes, especially on the ordnance. And the ordnance is the big thing that makes the A-10 um, worthwhile, all those bombs and things under, uh, under the wings. There's actually two pinholes per dumb bomb, and there's 12 dumb bombs. That's a lot of sanding, filling, puttying, all sorts of stuff. The directions are mostly clear, but in one or two cases they reference details or holes that don't actually exist. The interior detail is pretty sparse, which is a pity since it's very visible even through the closed canopy. There's no option in the instructions for the canopy to be open, but the canopy does come in two pieces and I think it would be pretty easy to wing it. My biggest complaint for the canopy is that the raised detail is on the inside. The fit for the model was in most cases terrible and extremely finicky. The cockpit, for example, has to be balanced perfectly on a single piece with no supports in order to attach it to a portion of the bottom of the fuselage. It is really difficult to get it right. In addition, that whole assembly has to be weighted heavily, and I mean very heavily. But you have to be careful where you place the weights, which are not included in the kit, or the cockpit won't fit inside the fuselage halves at all. And seriously, be sure you use a lot of weight. I used four one quarter inch lead bullet fishing weights and it's barely enough to keep the nose on the ground. There are two painting and decal options, one for Kim Campbell and another for the 81st uh, FS in Germany. I don't know what FS stands for, it sounds like fighter squadron, but um, that doesn't sound like a A-10. I'm not sure why you wouldn't do Kim Campbell, because she's actually a pretty interesting person, and her story about her uh, getting almost shot down in an A-10 and flying it back uh, is pretty cool. I had expected the decals to be garbage, since it's an Academy kit, but not so. The decals were great. They are thin, yet easy to work with, and if you use a good decal setter and softener, they won't silver or look raised and they have no problem sinking into crevices and molding around raised detail. I was very surprised by the excellent quality of decals. Overall, this is a fun kit, but I would recommend it to intermediate modelers and up simply because of the issues with fit and finishing that would make it a very tough model for beginners. So, I would love to hold up the A-10 and show you what a beautiful job it is right now, but you'll have to just deal with my pictures. Um, I, uh, I was planning on holding it up, and then uh, as I was looking for it, I said, oh yeah, I had actually given it away as a uh, white elephant gift at a party for the history club at school one time. So um, if you happen to be the recipient of that, uh, uh, watching this right now, uh, good, good for you. Anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful and informative for you. I wish you all joy in your lives, and I'll see you again soon.